This is the most important thing you can learn in SQL if you're new, and that is how to join tables together. We'll start off nice and easy, and you're going to get great at this. It took me about a month to understand this. Doesn't mean it's going to take you that long, but once you get it, it becomes really easy. So if you're new, joining tables will be something that at first you go, hmm, this is a little of a trickier part of this. But over time, it's going to be a piece of cake. Now, let's take a look and talk about logically what's going on with a join. We have our customer table here and our order table over here. Well, we're going to join them together. So what I want you to do is to say, hmm, the toughest part about joins is to know what relation or how they join together. So you want to look for a column in both tables that has usually the same name, but it has the same type of data. And that, in this case, is customer number. It's going to usually be the column that's the first column in one of the tables. And that's the case here. In the customer table, the first column is customer number. Over in the order table, order number is the first column in the table, but the next is customer number. See, that's called a primary key, since it's the first column, foreign key relation, since it's not the first column. And that's what you'll see in a join. Each of the two tables is going to have a column. One will usually be the primary key, and the other is a foreign key. And that's how those tables will join. Make no mistake about it. When two rows join together, they're out there floating out there by themselves, and they literally bring them together, and they touch. They're married for the life of this query. They give each other a kiss and go, we've got the same customer number, and that's how we join together. So here's how we're going to write this. We're going to say select customer table dot customer number. I've actually got a list which table I want the customer number to come from in the select list, and that's called fully qualifying it. I don't have to do it on the other columns because they're not in both tables. Only customer number is in both tables. So anytime I mention customer number here, I got to mention which table it's coming from. So I select customer table dot customer number. I select customer name from the customer table. Then I'm going to go get the order number and I'm going to go get the order total from the order table. That's in my select list. Those four columns will be on my report from customer table, comma, order table. I'm going to be pulling this information from two tables. Now I define what really joins the rows together, and that is my where clause. If you get the where clause, the select list is easy. The from the tables is so easy. That's the key here. Where customer table dot customer number equals order table dot customer number and this is going to join together just beautifully. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.